Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. I'm Joni Young if you're new and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you the secret to blending with acrylics. This is going to change the way you look at painting with acrylics. If you think that you can't get a soft velvety looking blurry background uh, in one easy step, I'm going to change your mind. So stay tuned and watch this video now. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to blend with acrylics using two brushes and a few colors of paint and a little bit of water. You're going to need a dry, soft, synthetic, I would recommend, mop brush or blush brush blending brush. I find that they work best when they're dry and when they're a nice, soft, fluffy, synthetic bristle hair like this. The one thing that you need to know about blending with acrylics is that you need to work with a dry brush over a wet canvas. So I'm going to show you now the trick to doing this. I'm going to take a large brush, grab some water, I'm going to apply it to the canvas. You only want the canvas to be damp, you don't want it dripping with water. I'm going to take a few colors of paint. I've got Hooker's Green Hue, Permanent, and some Mars Black. And I'm just going to add them right here. So you can see how I'm loading the brush too and how thin I'm applying the paint. Because that plays a key role in being able to get a nice, soft, blended look. I'm going to use some white as well. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of white, green, and black, all three colors, and I'm just going to start placing it on the canvas. Doesn't matter what brush stroke you're using, I'll add it to the other side as well. So not a ton of paint. Any thick globs will make it harder to get that soft blended look. You'll just keep being left with streaks on your canvas. Okay, before this can have time to dry, I'm going to take my dry, clean, synthetic mop brush And look how quickly, very lightly, little pressure, little circles, or you can go up and down or across. So just look at the difference from this side to this side. Just simply by using a dry mop brush. It's that easy. You can do this background uh, and you can use this for animal fur too, for the soft fuzzy bits of fur on the outer edges or wherever the animal has really soft fluffy fur. And then you would come in with uh, a liner brush or a fan brush for uh, the more detailed hairs. But this is uh, a very easy tip and trick for you guys today that's going to take your painting to another level. Let me know if you guys like these quick little um, tutorials and if this has helped you at all today. I love hearing from you guys. Take care and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!